right, hello. This is my interview video for the Lacuna Festival's uh, distance art exhibit. Uh, so let me just get started here. Apologize, I have to do it in my car. So uh, first question, who am I and where am I from? My name is Valerie Sparks and I am from a city called Memphis in the state of Tennessee in the United States. Uh, my practice is I am a overall artist, but uh, my main focus is photography. Uh, but those are, I exhibited photos for this um, exhibition. Uh, I also um, do a little bit of painting um, and other crafts and whatnot, but photography is my main art form. Uh, question is, how do you do it? Well, that's, uh, that's a good question. Um, I basically um, pretty much take photos of my daily life. Um, I do a lot of pictures on my mobile phone, which is kind of the currency right now, I think, for a lot of photographers. Um, I do take my actual camera with me when I can. But for convenience and spur of the moment, um, usually with my phone. Um, but yeah, basically just kind of usually what I see at my work, place of work, um, with my family, with my children, um, outdoors, uh, kind of just overall, um, just uh, whatever I find that. I find to be interesting. I just want to take a picture of it, and that's pretty much how I I do my work. Um, when did I start? So I started taking photographs when I was about 17 years old. Started back when I was in high school. Uh, it pretty much was just a um, like an elective class. What that means is it was a class that I didn't have to take. It was a class that I could choose to take. I was a senior in high, sc in high school, um, you know, the highest level before you uh, graduate, and I needed basically a filler for, for an hour or two during the school day, and surprisingly, um, my high school at the time had a photography class, and a lot of public high schools um, I don't really have that, so I found that that would be interesting to learn, and I took that class, and from there, I pretty much um, got hooked on it. I learned how to use my parents' old film camera, and I they actually had a dark room. I actually learned how to do my own prints and develop my own film, and I just really loved it. And so, from there, when I after I graduated from high school, went on to college, I just started studying it and learning it more, and and I've just uh, loved it ever since. What inspires you? Well, I guess I kind of answered that a little bit earlier, but um, yeah, my, my my big inspirations are more recently um, my my two children. They definitely have been a big inspiration. Uh, I take pictures of them all the time. Um, uh, for a, a long while, it was the outdoors, and that still is. Um, you know, just kind of getting out and. And um, appreciating the outdoors and nature. Uh, one thing that um, I do enjoy doing, which I haven't been able to do because of COVID, is um, is music photography and uh, going to venues, taking photos of bands and um, of live shows. But but now that's coming out more, so uh, they're starting to oh, as things start to open up more, I should be able to do that more. So I'm excited to uh to do that again uh so the pictures i'm exhibiting for the show um two of, there's three of them um and of course two of them are of my my oldest child and um and so basically those pictures to me in terms of the theme of distance um and if you look at them may hopefully it'll come through that it's more about the distance of time and how, because there are pictures of her when she was younger, so of like her 
childhood is going farther away now as she's getting older so that's like the distance of time and that can be a little sad but also uh, sweet at the same time. Uh, my third picture that I have is actually I have two people that I didn't even know. Um, I was just walking or I was just in a store at one point with a large window and I saw these two guys walk up to what looks like a bus stop. They walked up together and and uh, they seem to know each other. And then if you see the picture, um, I guess as they're waiting for a bus or waiting for somebody to come pick them up, they um, just kind of separ separate in a way um, and just create this distance that um, I thought was kind of strange since they knew each other. I'm, I'm sure to them they didn't think anything of it, but just looking at it from my point of view, um, it just looked kind of odd. And so when I was looking through photos about this theme, that one came up because it kind of shows that you don't need a great amount of distance for it to be there and for it to seem awkward or create an issue uh, between, so it's a distance of, of relationships between people and then physically you don't even have to be that far away from each other. Uh, so those are the three uh, images that I have on there. The, the ones that my daughter, the, the one, there's one of her on a pier and the other one is her at a distance uh, with an umbrella so um, yeah just a little descriptive details on those. Um, why, why did I apply? Um, I was just interested in the theme. Like I said, the, the, it can have, distance can have several meanings. It doesn't have to be physically, something physical, you know, it could be, you know, a physical distance, emotional distance. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be, it can be really far, it can be really close, and how distance, no matter what, has an impact, especially this past year. I mean, you know, you feel, you felt more distance from people more than ever, and you might have not moved or done anything different, you, you know, it's just, it's just created that, that distance of connection, so, so I think it was pretty, uh, pretty interesting to me, and I wanted to try to convey that with the photos that I had. So that's, uh, I think I answered all the questions. Um, if you see my photos, uh, you like what you see, if you're interested in seeing more of my work, I do have a couple of, uh, websites. I have an Instagram account. It's, uh, at Sparks Valerie. And then I have a Facebook page, Photography by Valerie Sparks, and you can also be like at Val Sparks Photo. Uh, so uh, thank you for listening to my long, awkward interview in the car. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.